Chapter 4 Hardware Lesson 4.1 Part Camera and Microphone In this lesson we are going to discuss what a camera and a microphone are, we are going to find out what a digital camera is and what a microphone is, and we are also going to discuss their uses in everyday life, and this is found on pages 98 and 99. Let's start. A digital camera could be sketched as follows. First of all, it has aperture, it is a hole found in the beginning of the camera. This hole has lenses, these lenses are made up of glass. As you could see here in this figure, how it is sketched. Also the camera has a processor, it is the same as the one found in the computer. It receives the data and processes it. This processor has sensors. These sensors receive the data and the data that the sensor receives and sends it to the processor is called light. The light will enter through the aperture which is at the beginning of the camera. And it will pass the lenses inside the camera to reach the sensors. When it reaches the sensors, these sensors will send the data to the processor to process it. We all know that camera is used in everyday life to take pictures for anything, such as a natural view. This is another photo that shows camera, the sensors and how the light passes it through. We are going now to explain what a microphone is. The microphone could be either dynamic or condenser microphone. The dynamic microphone is used for stage performance. It is used in acting or singing on the stage. It is very, very effective. However, the condenser is used for studio uses. That means it is used in the studio when recording a sound. The dynamic microphone will be represented in the following sketch. The sound wave will pass through this part where a coil is found, as you could see here in this figure. The coil is an iron wire wrapped around itself found inside the microphone. Also, we have wires carrying electrical audio signal, which is the sound that enters the microphone. Also, inside the dynamic microphone, there is a magnet, as you could see here also in this figure. That means the coil, magnet, and the wires all work together to take these sound waves and transform them to a loud and clear sound that could be heard. The condenser microphone will be represented in this sketch. It receives the sound waves which pass it through the front plate and the back plate, as shown also in this figure. Also, the condenser microphone has a battery and output audio signals which will get out from here, from that part. The microphone could be used in everyday life such as at school when a teacher uses it or even in any company presenting a business idea for the employees and the manager uses the microphone for explanation. Now we have reached to the end of this lesson, the camera and the microphone.